National Prosecuting Authority, Wikipedia Article Audio The Constitution of the Republic of South Africa, created a single National Prosecution Authority, which is governed by the National Prosecuting Authority Act. The Constitution, read with this Act, provides the NPA with the power to institute criminal proceedings on behalf of the state, to carry out any necessary functions incidental to institution of criminal proceedings and to discontinue criminal proceedings. The NPA is accountable to Parliament, while the final responsibility over the prosecuting authority lies with the Minister of Justice and Correctional Services. Structure Business Units Leadership List of Directors Suspension of Vasi Pakoli Application to Suspend Sean Abrahams On a national level, the NPA is headed by the National Director of Public Prosecutions. The NDPP is appointed by the President of South Africa for a term of 10 years. The NDPP is supported by a Chief Executive Officer, a position which was filled by Marion Sparg from 2000 to 2007, and by four Deputy National Directors. Every seat of the High Court of South Africa is served by a Director of Public Prosecutions, who acts as the prosecution authority for such courts' jurisdictional area. Further support comes from special directors and investigating directors. The NPA comprises various core business units. Controversial extraordinary changes in NPA leadership have been attributed to political interference. In June 2014 former NPA prosecutor Glynis Breidenbach a member of Parliament for the Democratic Alliance and Shadow Minister of Justice, called for an end to ongoing political interference that has compromised the integrity of the NPA. The first NDPP, Buell Laninguka, was appointed in 1998 and resigned in 2004. He was succeeded by Vasi Pakoli, Mokotedi Mpshi, Menza Saim Lane, Nam Kobojiba, and Mksala Singasana appointed with effect from October 1, 2013. On July 5, 2014, President Zuma announced an inquiry to determine whether Ngasana is fit and proper to hold office in terms of Section 12 of the National Prosecuting Authority Act. 1998. On May 11, 2015, the inquiry was terminated, but unconfirmed reports suggested that Ngasana has agreed to resign his post. On May 31, 2015 it was announced that Ngasana was stepping down as the National Director of Public Prosecutions. He was paid out the value of the remainder of his 10-year contract amounting to R17 million. On June 16, 2015, Sean Abrahams was appointed as the National Director of Public Prosecutions. On September 23, 2007 President Thabo Mbiki suspended the then NDPP Vasi Pakoli. Following Pakoli's suspension, President Mbiki established a commission of inquiry headed by Dr. Freen Jinwela in terms of Section 12 of the National Prosecuting Act 32 of 1998 to determine the fitness of Piccoli to hold office of National Director. In the report of the inquiry into the fitness of Advocate VP Piccoli to hold the office of the NDPP, the Jinwela Commission made a number of recommendations including that Pakoli should be restored to his position and be sensitized to the broader responsibilities of his office and in particular to enhance his understanding of the security environment in which that office should function. One scholar has observed that despite the Jinwela Commission's recommendations, Advocate Pakoli was removed from office by President Kagalema Montland on December 8, 2008. Mhango, who has written on the subject, 
notes that Montland was later prevented by the judiciary in Piccoli v. President and others to appoint a permanent NDPP until the legalities regarding the removal of Piccoli had been sorted in the courts. On September 27, 2007 the South African Broadcasting Corporation claimed that a warrant was issued on September 10 by the NPA for the arrest of the head of the South African Police and Interpol, Jackie Celebi. According to SABC the warrant was secured by Piccoli, before Piccoli was suspended by the country's President Mbiki. President Mbiki suspended NPA head Vasi Piccoli, allegedly because of an irretrievable breakdown in the relationship between Piccoli and Justice Minister Bridget Mabandla. However, journalists at the Mail and Guardian claim to have solid information supporting the widespread suspicion that President Mbiki suspended Piccoli as part of a bid to shield Police Commissioner Celebi. The leader Helen Zill said that the suspension of Piccoli was a serious development that needed further explanation, the country needs to know why Piccoli has been suspended. Human Sciences Research Council political commentator Adam Habib said. The application to suspend Sean Abrahams was struck off the roll. The National Prosecution Service is composed of the various DPP offices and are responsible for the day-to-day -day criminal prosecutions. State advocates prosecute matters in the superior courts, whilst public prosecutors prosecute matters in the lower courts. The Directorate of Special Operations was launched on September 1, 1999, in Cape Town as a step towards putting in place the necessary machinery to eradicate organized crime in South Africa. It was the birth of what is envisaged to become a world-class law enforcement agency. The DSO was later disbanded in July 2009 and the investigative capacity transferred to the South African Police Service. The Asset Forfeiture Unit was established in May 1999 to give effect to certain provisions in the Prevention of Organized Crime Act allowing for the criminal or civil seizure of assets belonging to perpetrators of crime. Once forfeited, these assets are realized and are utilized to compensate the victims of crime and slash or are plowed back into law enforcement, sexual offenses and community affairs was established in October 1999 with the main objective of eradicating all forms of gender-based violence against women and children. The unit comprises four sections, namely the Sexual Offenses Section, the Domestic Violence Section, the Maintenance Section, and the Child Justice Section. The Specialized Commercial Crime Unit was established with the focal objective of prosecuting serious economic offenses, such as fraud and related offenses, the Witness Protection Unit essentially provides support services to vulnerable and intimidated witnesses and related persons in any judicial proceedings in the criminal justice system. The unit also provides assistance and cooperation to other countries, tribunals, and special courts, in the field of witness protection. The functions and duties of the WPU are classified secret in terms of the Witness Protection Act. The Priority Crimes Litigation Unit was created by Presidential Proclamation on March 23, 2003. In terms of its mandate, it is to manage and direct investigations and prosecutions relating to criminal prosecutions arising from the Rome Statute, crimes against the state including national and international terrorism, matters emanating from the truth and reconciliation process and contraventions of the Regulation of Foreign Military Assistance Act, the Non-Proliferation of Weapons of Mass Destruction Act, the National Conventional Arms Control Act, the Nuclear Energy Act and the Intelligence Services Act, the Integrity Management Unit is a relatively new unit, 
tasked to continually assess, prevent, monitor, evaluate, and maintain the base integrity so that it is not in any way compromised. The IMU is further tasked to have complete oversight of the reactive systems and processes in instances where there has been a compromise of the organization's integrity. Corporate services is tasked to focus on servicing customer needs and to concentrate resources to provide low-cost, high-quality corporate service support to multiple business partners within the NPA.